Hey, this is it, Chris. Big dude, who is it? It's Chris. <laughs> Lee Acris Mobility on the road, heading north towards Virginia, but not going to Virginia, just going to a little town called Bullock. I call it a one horse town, but there's no horses there. Um, they don't have a gas station anymore, though. They used to have two. No, there is one. That's right, dude. There used to be three. Now there's one, but it's not actually in the town. Or, of course, it's not actually even a town. So, anyway, meeting my pastor up there. He's got a computer issue. Can't get on the internet. <clears throat> Verizon came out to his house yesterday. He lives up in Southern Virginia. In the, well, I, I would call it the boonies, but it's really not. It's not. It's, it's about like it is around here. Well, okay, it's, it's kind of boonies. Boonie-ish. Uh, Ver, the Verizon Tech came out yesterday and looked at his line and uh, said it was good. Changed out his modem because that's just what they do. And uh, But he did hook up his device to that modem, and it worked, and he showed, he showed the pastor that it did work. And so obviously now the problem has to be in the desktop, which is what I kind of thought when we were talking about it last Sunday. Uh, but, you know, you have to you have to check the connection first, to, you know, to make sure. Because, you know, I hate to go out here and get this computer and take it home and hook it up to my stuff and have it work just fine. So, don't think that's going to be the case. So, it's a Vista machine, which is, you know, a cause for wailing and gnashing of teeth. And who knows who, what it could be, but... We'll see. I, I think he said it says it's connected, but he just doesn't get it. Excuse me, doesn't get any web pages. So it might just be as simple as resetting the web browser, or it might be as complicated as rebuilding the networking or reloading the machine. Because really, there's only so much you can do with the networking. It's not like you can. It's not like a program that you can install and uninstall, or vice versa. And so I guess we'll find out here later on this afternoon. So I will be back later, probably tomorrow, with an update on that, and I'll tell you how it went. Well, that's about it for now. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, this is Chris, Lackers Mobility. Uh, it's time for the conclusion to the pastor's computer. This is uh, part two. Did part one the other day. I fi actually fixed the computer a couple days ago, but I'm just now getting around to doing a video about it. So it was really one of those things that I couldn't really say what I fixed. The uh, symptoms were that it would connect to the internet, and it's, it's Windows Vista. The icon clearly showed the little globe, I mean the earth, well the globe, uh, over the network icon, which means it has internet access. <clears throat> Go into the network settings, it says it has internet access. Open a command prompt and ping several websites such as Google. And the packets go to Google, and the packets are, re are replied to from Google. So it's not a, it's not an it wasn't a networking issue because packets were being sent back and forth. But when I opened the browser to go do the uh, I mean to try to go to a website, uh, it said connection refused, which means I don't it mean <clears throat> it's not a connection can't be found or connections taking too long to you know to, to connect. And so I'm just giving up. It's connection refused. So there was some... <clears throat> I don't know if it, it, was, it was some kind of security setting or group policy setting. I, You know, it was something in the Windows operating system that was preventing... Well, that was causing these remote websites to refuse to connect to the, compu the, uh, the pastor's computer. So, and it didn't mean... It didn't matter, you know, where the computer was. It said the same thing at his house, said the same thing at my house, said the same thing on both my mobile from hotspots. So, uh, cleaned it up. That didn't help. Finally, uh, I ran my Windows all-in-one repair tool, which goes through about 30 classes of repairs and, and just, you know, puts everything back to default or returns all the values to normal. And, uh, ran that and restarted the computer and voila got internet got good internet got was able to go to any site I wanted to go to. So you know one of those one of those things that the Windows repair tool fixed was one of the things that was wrong but I have no idea you know what it was. I mean I got 
very faint idea, but I really don't know. I really don't know. And so, you know, I gave it back to him and said, hey, it works. <laughs> well, what was wrong? Well, I really don't know for sure. It was, it was, you know. You know, you only have so much time to work on computers. I mean, you know, it's the first time I've ever seen that problem, actually. And sometimes, I, you know, I do want to dig into it deeper, but, you know, there is a time constraint, and I don't have all day to work on a computer. And, you know, what's what's really important, the really important issue thing is that it's fixed and that it works. And so, you know, he probably, probably what happened, he's got a virus, and the virus went into some system files or some settings and reset a setting or two, and that was enough, and that was enough to keep, uh, to, to, to uh, result in these uh, remote websites refusing connection. So, other than that, I really can't say with any certainty, but hey, it's fixed, it's working. It's all cleaned up, and it's working, it's working well, especially for a Vista computer. So he's happy. I'm happy. It's kind of the way it is today. It's a good day. All righty. If you have any questions or comments, please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do. And we'll see you on the next one.